They say that we're attracted to our opposites, but is that a good thing when it comes to personalities, which really means your colors and how you communicate and your energy? With us today is Jennifer Butler. You are the color expert. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Now, it sounds like hocus pocus. So what? I, this one wears blue, that one wears red. But you're saying that there really is a big difference in how we get along and we communicate and express ourselves. So let's start with a little bit of background here. Tell okay. us about what we tend to do and why it's not good. Well, when I first got my colors, I, when I looked at them, I thought, well, I really don't even like these. They aren't what I would pick. So I thought, well, when I was given bright red, everybody thought you look great in bright red. I thought, I like pink more than I like bright red. Well, when I started looking at it, my mother actually wears bright pink. It's her color. Not yours. No, not well, at all. So, so, but, you, but you like your mother, so yes. you wanted to look like her? Well, no, I think on a subconscious level I was making the choice. I didn't realize it. I just made up that pink looked better on me when actually red did. So when we're attracted to the opposite, we often lose ourselves in that choice. And on a subconscious level, we choose other people's colors more than our own. Okay. Because I asked you, I, I say, so why is this important? Yes. And you were saying, isn't it important to uh, know who you are? Exactly. And, and you said, don't we sometimes get lost when we're in relationships? Yes, and then you lose yourself and the other person, both psychologically, but then also in a color story. So when I look at a couple's closet, they're usually in each other's colors before they are in their own. And that's why a lot of women say, I have a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear because their coloring isn't in their closet. And at some level, we do know that. So is the first step to figure out what our color is, Yes. how do we do that? Well, remember we talked about looking in the mirror outside in, in the daylight. So you actually say, okay, is my, my skin tone really peach or is it pink? I thought mine was pink and it's peach. Okay. And I didn't realize it until I actually started looking in the daylight. And you want to actually match your coloring. And a lot of people... Well, no, you're wearing blue and black. I don't see blue and black on you. Right, but blue is what we call, uh, is part of a sacred triad, red, yellow, and blue. We all recognize that as a triad. Mm -hmm. And my eyes are, are gold, and my red is a red, and so blue is the... Is the completion of that triangle. So we start by looking at our own coloring, yes. the own color of our eyes, right? and then we match that in with the clothing. Yes, exactly. Uh, and that's how we continue to be authentic and express ourselves in the right way. Yes, it is. I love it. And if you have any questions for Jennifer, but Jennifer Butler or anything that we've talked about, log on to NBC40.net. Thank you so much. Jennifer Thank Butler, it's Better Living. To watch past segments or contact me, visit NBC40.net.